So how much does does this Jacksonville State game hurt in terms of making a ball? Um, it 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 it, it hurts a lot. Hurt. It hurts a lot because I mean, if if we win that game, all we got to do is go two and two down the stretch, you know, against BC, NC State, Miami, and Florida. Just go two and two. We're in a bowl, six and six. You know, now mm-hmm. we're looking at it to where we got to go three and four, which is doable. But you know, two and two is a lot easier, and you know we mm-hmm. should be able to find two wins out of BC, NC State, and Miami. Personally, uh, Florida is mm-hmm. going to be a little bit tougher, especially in the swamp. Um, even despite the awful, awful tweet they they put out about the swamp, but that's yeah. another another issue. <laughs> um, but you know, like NC State's, you know, they're okay. They're okay, but we can beat mm-hmm. them at home. You know, BC's not good. We can beat them on the road. Miami's okay, but we can beat them at home. You know, so you know, it'll be real interesting to see if we can walk into Florida at six and five. And Robin Robin thinks that the play column blowed. I don't I don't know if I agree with that. I think I, that I, I don't. I think that it came down to um, the players getting the job done and making the plays. You know, yeah, you know they they ski. You know, the hold on, Luke Altmyer's in now. Matt Corral just limped off the field. Oh. Um, but you, you you look at um, you look at the the, the drop, not necessarily the drop, but Helton missing that touchdown. You, you yeah. know that that is, you know, a slight overthrow. You look at Helton dropping the third down. You look at a couple of missed blocks. You look at the offensive line. You know not really having a great game. You looked at you look at 10 penalties. So I don't really would say that the play calling blue. I just think that the ability to make those plays happen is what blue. Yeah. The you know if you look at almost anybody who follows Florida State and what did they say before Clemson? It's gonna be tough to run on them because they're going to stack the box because they're not gonna um be scared of our passing game. In order for us mm-hmm. to be able to move the ball on offense, we need to hit some of those chunk yardage plays in the passing game, mm-hmm. especially early. We hit one, we hit another with Toa Philly with the running back wheel. Other than that, we missed on a few. And, you know, we got to convert on those. We convert mm-hmm. on those, it's a different ball game, but we didn't hit on enough for Clemson to back off. And they still crowded that line and they still dared us to beat them throwing. Um, and we couldn't, and, um, we took our shots and I personally, I, I think the offensive play calling was amazing. It's just, what do you do if your offensive line is getting whooped up front and the defense mm-hmm. is daring you to throw and you can't throw, what do you do? You know, that's, you're, you're severely limited, you're severely limited, you know? Yeah. So, you know, he, he, he called a game in which he got the opportunities to the players, like you said. We didn't convert mm-hmm. on all of them. We converted on some of them, not all of them. And at some know, point, at some point, the players got to execute, Steve. That's what at some point, they to. do. It, they do. That's what you it know? just comes down to. Yep. You, you know, you know, it, 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 it's a cyclical thing. You got to coach, got to develop, and the players got to execute and do their job and play smart. And, and that didn't happen today. So, um, you know, as we start to wrap this up, you know, there's no moral victories, you know. I, I I do think Florida State had a really good opportunity and they dropped the ball on, on this game. They, you know, they, they could have won this game. You know, could have went four in a row, four and four, and, and and looked at a lot of confidence moving forward. You know, so so you as a coach doing this before, you know, it is this a blow to the confidence knowing that they could have had this game, or is this just more proof of concept or proof of that, hey, you know, the coaches are, are got us in the right direction? Um, it's more an issue of, like, the players. It's not even so much, okay, as a coach, but as a player, like, you know, to me, I if I was if I was a player in this situation, I would be like, we had the opportunities. We were there to win. And mm-hmm. especially if I've been there last year or the year before and I've seen us get beat by Miami 52-10, get beat by – Clemson, you know, three years ago, 40, uh, 59 to 10. And I was there for all of those games. 
and now mm-hmm. I see us go toe to toe and actually have a chance to win. I'm looking at this like, all right, we're a lot better than people think. Let's go, you know, and let's go next weekend to NC State and let's go, you know, put a hurting on NC State. We got NC State next week, right? Yeah, the Miami's. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, let's go do that. You know, and that's what I'm feeling like, you know, I would definitely say this is more proof of a concept is there. We have mm-hmm. to play, make the plays as the players and especially the same thing with recruiting. We talked about that earlier, you know, so, you know, how this game played out, I think it's definitely should be, you know, some more confidence to where we went toe to toe with Clemson, who was in the national championship game. No, they got beaten this in the playoffs in the first round, night. but either way, they were in the playoffs last year and we went toe to toe with them. Yeah. They've had some injuries and they're down this year and the quarterback's not playing as well. Either way, we had a chance to win. We blew it by making some stupid penalties and missing a few big play opportunities. We blew it, but it's there. We were there. And mm-hmm. it should be, it should be, if the players have any kind of confidence at all, it should be a boost of confidence, you know. So mm-hmm. so um, you know, just a you know, reminder, you know, as I retweeted, you know. Someone on, on Twitter said this, and I think it's, you know, just a good thought that this same team that lost to Jacksonville State almost beat Clemson. So if you can't see the the improvements, you're just blind, or you have an you have an agenda. Yeah. But you know, um, they had the game one. Uh, I think that this gives them confidence, knowing that you know, just clean up a couple things, and, and, and they they would have left. T- you know, Death Valley breaking the 31 game win streak that the that the Tigers had at home, and and I I think that it just shows that hey, you know we are moving in the right direction. Let let's continue to fight as you try to get to six wins and get to that bowl eligibility, um, and, and that's what it comes down to. You you got a, a winnable game at home. I think with the way the team's been playing, you'll see a good crowd, and and then you know got to get some things ironed out with the offensive line. You know, got to got to figure out. You know where you're at. You know, I know a couple of guys played banged up today, but got to see where you're at there, and got to got to. I, I I like the fact that we saw a lot more 88 and 21 today at wide receiver, mm-hmm. and and they made a couple of plays. So you got to continue to work them in and just keep pushing, and, and you know, we'll see. You know, next week does this team come out flat? Do they come out, you know, with with a sense of urgency and. You know, do they have that motivation? But 